Tonight on Czech News. Tonight we learn the future of Czech television. Well, I think we've made some history here. There's no question. Another family struggles to make a go of it on the island. It's hard to, you know, look at the kids and tell them that, you know, you, you don't have a house for them. And the summer tourism season comes to a close. Now, Vancouver Island's most watched newscast, Czech News. Here's Scott Fee. Good evening. Tonight marks the end of a deadline Ken West gave to Czech employees and local investors to try and hammer out a deal to save Czech news. The last 40 days have been an incredible ride for viewers, supporters and staff. Tonight we can tell you that after 53 years of being the number one station on the island, a deal by the employees and several local investors has been accepted by Can West. Czech TV has been sold and is now not only your island's owned, but your island's owned. Bob Kendrick reports. Looks like we're almost at 1,500 shirts. For seven weeks, Bill Welburn has had designs on saving Czech. I did them to uh, raise street level awareness for Czech news and their issues and uh, just felt this is what we do. You know, we can put it on a t-shirt and get it out in the street and, and uh, get people aware of what's going on. Whether with wardrobe or words or the web, Islanders rolled out grassroots efforts to convince the sellers to let employees take over their station. It's been a roller coaster, but uh, overall, uh, people have really come together. Uh, we've had a lot of help from the community, uh, a lot of help from our union, the CEP, and uh, all in all, it's uh, really, really gratifying to see uh, the end we've achieved. The seller, CanWest CEO Leonard Asper's inbox, received a few thousand emails from Czech viewers. And he received a personal visit from Island MP Gary Lund. How would you characterize the part that you did? I kept the ball moving, I guess that's where. Where the ball quit moving and wasn't going to move and sort of got stuck in concrete, um, I was able to meet with the very senior people at CanWest, the senior executive uh, team, and continue to look for solutions. Yet, even with all that support, a week ago, this deal appeared dead. The station obits all but written. You know, there was just an, an overwhelming desire to make this happen. Um, and, and by Sunday, we were, we were back on track, and, uh, and, we had, and we sort of had the basis of an agreement in place. Here we are, one big happy family. It was so down to the wire, Czech News threw a party on Monday, unsure if it was awake. To put together a deal of this magnitude is usually in the neighborhood of four to six months, and, and we, we really put it together in the last five days. In the end, buyers and sellers and bureaucracies all budged. And today, Czech learned, the show will go on. We are officially television station over. <laughs> so long, layoff notices. Employees and community partners now own Czech. The station confident it's a design that suits Bill Welburn and the future to a T. Here's the best news of all. Save Czech News. As Czech News begins a new era of television here on the island, please be patient as our local programming will continue to grow. As things develop and evolve over the next little while, there are some things you can always count on. Czech News at 5, 6, and 10 p.m., seven days a week. And, of course, Island 30 will continue weeknights at 6.30.